Now we have seen the methods to find out elasticity of demand. Now let's understand what does the numbers in elasticity of demand mean? What meaning do we derive from those numbers? Let's say the elasticity of demand is 2 or it is 0 0.5 or it is 1. How do I interpret these numbers? What is the meaning of elasticity at 2? What is the meaning of elasticity of demand at 1? And what is the meaning of elasticity of demand at 0 0.5? But before understanding these numerical values, it is imperative to understand the types of price elasticity of demand. The types of elasticities of demand are first, perfectly inelastic demand second relatively inelastic demand third unitary elasticity fourth relatively elastic demand and finally perfectly elastic demand so we have five types of elasticity of demand first is perfectly inelastic demand second relatively inelastic demand third unitary elasticity of demand fourth is relatively elastic demand and finally you have perfectly elastic demand now what do we mean by these words perfectly inelastic demand means a change in price does not bring about any change in demand i'll again go back to my rope this rope is inelastic however i change my price that is the force I cannot pull it so I can say that it is inelastic likewise when the demand does not budge the demand does not change by any amount of change in price we call it perfectly inelastic demand no change in demand by any amount of change in price how much ever the price changes it may decrease or it may go up the demand does not change in such a condition we call the elasticity of demand as perfectly inelastic demand now have you ever seen or come across any commodities whose demand is inelastic sure you must have take salt for example now salt is one of the necessities of humans we do not tend to increase the consumption of salt if the prices of salt go down or tend to decrease the consumption of salt if the prices of salt go up so we can say that the elasticity of salt is inelastic salt is inelastic to a change in price i'll just show it on graph let's say i was consuming quantity q at price p of salt now when i increase the price to p1 i do not tend to increase my consumption i tend to consume same amount of salt so with an increase in price there is no change in quantity of salt consumed 
quantity of salt demanded. Let's say I decrease the price of salt from the original price and now the price is P2. Again, we do not change the consumption pattern of our salt. We do not tend to increase the consumption of salt. So at P2, the consumption will again be Q. So if we go on adjusting the price of salt, we'll see that the quantity consumed of salt is not changing and we get a line which is parallel to y axis. This line is parallel to y axis. Thus we can say when the demand for a product is inelastic, the curve is always parallel to y-axis. The curve of demand will always be parallel to y-axis. Now what do we mean by relatively inelastic? Relatively inelastic demand means that demand is responsive to a change in price. The demand, the demand responds to a change in price but it does not change as much as the price changes. So we can say a bigger change in price brings a smaller change in demand a bigger change in price brings about a smaller change in demand here please note that the demand is not perfectly inelastic it is elastic however it is very minutely elastic so this case is called relatively inelastic because it is nearer to being inelastic what do you think is unitary elasticity of demand unitary elasticity of demand is when demand changes in proportion to change in price that is a change in price brings about a proportional change in demand or in other words the change in price and change in demand in percentage terms are equal so the answer would always be one and thus we call the elasticity as unitary elasticity that is where the elasticity of demand is always one Change in price brings a proportionate change in demand. What is relatively elastic demand? Relatively elastic demand is one where demand shows a big change to a smaller change in price where a small change in price brings about a bigger change in demand small change in price brings a bigger change in demand the price has not changed much but the demand has changed more than proportionate with price a small change in price is bringing about a bigger change in demand thus we can say 
that demand is behaving elastically the demand is elastic now so what will be perfectly elastic perfectly elastic demand is one where no change in price brings about an endless change in demand the demand keeps on changing without the price being changed now this is a very difficult situation to understand where the demand is changing but the change is not because of price the change is because of other factors i'll just explain this these are my axes i am currently consuming quantity q at price p now what is happening is my quantity is changing my quantity is changing however the price is not changing my quantity is changing but the price is not changing which means price is not the reason for the change in demand demand is being changed by some other factors and thus we can say that the demand is perfectly elastic to price where there is an infinite change in demand because of no change in price or no change in price brings an endless change in demand in this case we get the demand curve as being parallel to x axis the demand curve will always be parallel to x axis this is my x axis the demand curve will always be parallel to x axis